Hey, it's Eli aka Atlas, and in this video we're going to be doing something a little different. In the usual format, of course. Back in September 2019, I came across an old email I wrote years even before that. Long story short, someone was asking for my advice on how to get off the ground and succeed as a freelancer, particularly as a comic creator. How did I respond? Does the advice still hold up? Let's find out after the jump. What makes this different than our usual vlog? Well, the script was pre-written before I ever had a vlog. And by that, I mean I'm going to be reading the email I sent one Mr. David to you, my dear friends and viewers, although not verbatim. You know, we've got to keep these things concise. So without further ado, let's run through the list of somewhat experienced advice from a contemporarily experienced Atlas. Use social media, a lot. People say you should try and establish relationships on these kinds of sites as well, since things will spread through word of mouth, which will work in your favor since you won't have to advertise as much. But I'd say make a separate page for your book and for your personal stuff. Make friends and advertise on your personal page, then redirect people to your books page, where they'll like, follow, buy the book, all that stuff. Number two, try and make some friends in high places. I did a fan art at the beginning of the year of Marvel characters Spider-Gwen and Ultimate Spider-Man um, before they renamed her. Again, this was back in whenever year this was. I tagged the series writer Brian Michael Bendis, he saw the art and retweeted it, giving me a bunch more likes, retweets, follows from the people who follow him. Since you're a writer, I'm assuming, and maybe fan art isn't an option, perhaps get caught up in some kind of comic related discussion with your personal favorite writer and see if you can't make something happen that way. Have really great art in your book and write a really good pitch. Actually, several pitches of differing lengths for all the variety of sites you'll need to use. That way, if no one asks for a blurb, post a picture. If no one wants a picture, post a blurb. Tying into the last one, just have a really great product in general. Financially, maybe it'd be prudent to already have some buyers lined up. People usually do this via Kickstarter, pre-orders. Otherwise, people pitch their stories to publishers who can get the audience for them. If none of these are an option, at least have some people in your circle who want to get the book from you. That way you can flip the money on promotion, which will hopefully draw in more money. So I had started the email with a little disclaimer, but since we're in video format, I felt it appropriate to bring it down here as it applies. I said, Admittedly, I'm very surprised you're asking me for this information since I've never marketed myself as a marketer, but I'll just give you the tips I know that have given me some moderate exposure. And thus it ends with my salutation as follows. Hopefully I gave you some knowledge you haven't heard before. Best of luck, David, and I hope that everything works out great. And that about wraps it up to my letter to one Mr. David from however many years ago. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, found it interesting, found it helpful, and found the tips can apply to you, especially if you're a newer freelancer, uh, whether you're an artist or a writer, because again, David was a writer, I believe. So hopefully you guys can take, these are pretty basic tips and apply them to your own work, get a little bit of a movement, a little bit of fan base established, and hopefully you can take things from there and become a god of the internet or whatever it is you're trying to do. As always, make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, and share. That is the keyword for this year and every year. Share, share, share this video. And uh, yeah, make sure you leave your comments and suggestions for topics you guys would like to see me talk about in future videos. As always, I will address them all here and without fail. Make sure you tune in every Friday for the next episode of the For Future Reference vlog. And every Monday for either a speed drawing or a tutorial, whatever's on my desk, I share it with you guys. And comment, like, subscribe, and share trying to get a whole bunch of subscribers, trying to get a whole bunch of likes, more views are needed on these videos. I really put a lot of heart into it for you guys. So show some love on the video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you check out the rest of the similar videos to this one. I'll have them linked up in the cards. And I shall see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Later.